Okay, when dealing with current electricity, there are several symbols that are used to depict symbolically uh, the different types of circuit parts that you might come across. So the simplest one would be a straight line that's representative of a conductor. If you have two dots like that with an open uh, line, that would be a switch that's open. A closed switch, which would allow the current to flow, would be drawn with the, uh, that line down touching that dot. This is a fuse, which would burn out if the voltage or the amperage is too high on the, um, on the conductor. This, is a, this symbolizes a ground wire connected to, uh, say, the, the faucet or just the ground, literally into the ground. An electric connection means this, uh, the two wires that are crossing, if they have a dot drawn on it, it means that they're connected at that point. If there's no dot drawn, it just means that they're crossing each other but with no connection. This would be a single cell, the cathode and the anode. Uh, this is a voltmeter, an ammeter, a galvanometer. So a voltmeter measures how much energy each electron has. An ammeter measures uh, the uh, flow of current. A, gal a galvanometer, I'm not sure what galvanometers do, I'll have to look that up. A watt meter measures how much uh, energy there is flowing, how much power is flowing through the, through the wire in, the, in, the, in terms of joules per second. A resistor measures how much the flow of electricity is being impeded through the wire or through whatever instrument is being used. So if there's a loss, if there's a loss of power, very often it's due to the fact that the conductor itself soaks up some of the uh, energy. A rheostat is a variable resistor, so that you can change the resistance uh, at will by turning a dial. Uh, a battery of cells in parallel, a battery of cells in series, and two lamps in parallel.